cut off there. Uh, so what I wanted to go into next was my final point was, like Professor, we talked about a lot about the Colombian peace process and how the UN uh, was there to collect guns to basically help this whole process start it. So when we're talking about human humanitarian international law, you have to figure out a first step in the right direction, which is we don't know sometimes. You got to figure it out ourselves, whether it's with the people, whether it's with the government, whichever one is, whichever one's easier. So that's why I always, when I'm when I'm thinking about this, I always think back to you got you got to think about all the world wars we had. So what was the first instinct? People attacking us. We go to war. We didn't think about it philosophically. We're just thinking about sovereignty. Were we willing to let them come in and just invade us? No. So when you look at that, both are, you have two sides, two sides of a conflict, and both those sides want one main thing, but aren't willing to compromise, which leads us to war. And war should never be the answer, as we saw with the World War One, World War Two, Vietnam. There's still wars being fought today in the Middle East, Pakistan, uh, Afghanistan. It's just there, there should be enough of it. I don't understand why we can't come together and create a compromise to help both parties. Yes, I understand that both parties might not get what they exactly want, but that's the big issue of all. Like, like it's not fair. It, you will never get exactly what you want unless you are willing to compromise of some value of what you don't want. Humanitarian international law, it's a great idea, and I for sure think it can work in different states that aren't as big. I think smaller states can definitely use them, like uh, Nicaragua, uh, Cuba, uh, what was the, maybe Colombia, like all of those states, like over in South America, in the Dominican Republic. I feel like they could come together to create one bigger nation than they are. Because, like, as the United States, we are a huge nation. But you look at all of those, they're all broken up everywhere. South America, Europe, Dominican Republic, they're all broken up into tiny little estates. If they come together for one greater good, then they can be create another powerhouse in, in the government. And that, that would help a lot with humanitarian international law. Because then, you got to look, that adds another face to the UN, NATO, all of it. And we are looking at a huge increase in humanitarian international law.